All right, today we're gonna make a candy corn brick stitch pouch. A brief history of this embroidery style. It dates back from the early 14th to the mid 15th centuries. Examples of this style originate in parts of Germany, particularly Westphalia and Lower Saxony. And this decorative technique was used on religious and secular items with extant examples such as bags, pillows, and liturgical garments. What you'll need. 18 count Aida cloth of preferred size. Mine was 12 by 18, which is enough to make two pouches the same size as mine. An embroidery needle, an embroidery hoop or frame, that's optional. Uh, two skeins of black floss, I use DMC 310. Three skeins of orange floss, I use DMC 740. Two skeins of yellow floss, I use DMC 18, although the pattern has 743. One skein of white floss, I use DMC Blanc. A sewing needle, lining fabric, thread to match the lining fabric, and a drawstring. All right, so to begin, I like to start by doing the black diamonds, and I start in the middle. And I'm using six strands of floss to get some better coverage. So first I come up through the fabric and I want to leave a bit of a tail on the back side so that I have something that I can tuck in when I come back to finish. Then I'm going to go over four spaces in the Aida cloth. And make my stitch. Now every single one of these stitches is four spaces on the Aida cloth. And then each stitch after that is just two up from the end of the last stitch and one row over. Every single stitch on this is exactly the same. And you'll just keep doing that until you get all the diamond pattern done. And then you can come back and fill in with your stripes of color. When you come to the end of your floss and you need to tuck in the tail, what you'll do is you'll go on the back. See, here we have the front, this is the back. And you'll simply go through your, the backs of your stitches and run your needle through. And that will tack down your floss so that it doesn't unravel. Once you've finished the embroidery part of this project, then you'll be able to make it into a pouch. So to do this, you'll take the embroidered fabric and you'll fold it so that the embroidery is on the inside and sew it up both sides. So the outside's gonna look like this. You can see the back of my fabric there. You'll also take your lining fabric and do the same thing. So you'll fold it lengthwise and sew up each side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hem the top. So basically what you're doing is you're folding over the raw edge and sewing it in place so that when you're finally done with the product, all you'll have is pretty stuff showing. Same thing for the lining. And then what I did was I pinned it together and I'm going to be going around this to tack it down so it stays together. Once you finish sewing the pouch together, you're going to poke holes to run your drawstring. So you'll poke holes in the fabric, and then whatever you choose to use as a drawstring, you'll run it through the holes, and then you'll be able to pull it closed. For more information about brick stitch embroidery and more pattern ideas, check out our list of resources listed on the video description. You will also find a link to a PDF of the pattern for this embroidery design. Thanks!